Farsightedness can be said to arise directly out of the heart rather than from the mind. Jinky 17 With the shadow of opinion and the city of omniscience and it's the path of farsightedness. My wisdom story My parents needed me to accomplish great things for the sake of our people. Even before school I was quizzed and ready for intellectual excellence. Fact gathering, test taking and structured debating were praised while irrational emotions were discouraged. My detail prone eyes were trained to defect flaws. My critical, opinionated mind was honed on making comparison, always pulling out the right fact to back up any theory. My intellect served me well as I became a good student, lawyer, then social critic. I did my research until I was certain about good, bad, right and wrong. My opinions were always on the side of justice and became increasingly humanitarian. To everyone I seemed unusually confident. But deep down I was serious, self-critical and took everything personally. I constantly compared myself to others, fearing they were more knowledgeable and accomplished. I had a deeply held opinion that without my achievements I was unlovable. So I created an impenetrable shield and refused to use anything but logic to discuss anything, even in the relational and emotional situations. Beneath my seemingly open-minded and progressive views, I was angry. I held on to my opinions like a fundamentalist. I lost friends over disagreements. But when I lost the love of my life over a stupid argument, I woke up. And from that moment on, my mind became the loyal, brilliant servant of my loving heart. My gift to you. I am here to remind you that nothing, no opinion, theory, dogma or belief is more important than love. The only way to liberate yourself from the unhealthy grip of an opinionated life is to develop a sense of humor. True farsightedness requires you that you don't take yourself too seriously or what anyone says too personally. Laugh more. It's not about shutting down your brilliant mind ignoring the patterns that you see or given up on improving the world, but it's about being able and willing to see and feel every aspect of the whole simultaneously. Have all the opinions you want, but remember, you are not your opinions. You are so much more. You are a scientist of the heart, here to contribute your part to the future of humanity by seeing the small and the big picture all at once. And now some questions for you to complete your contemplation. Where are you being too hard on yourself? How can you be more gentle? Where do you actually have an opinion but are afraid of sharing it? Where in your life could you use a backbone? Where do you tend to be hard on others? Are your strong opinions getting in the way of your relationships? Do you ever get caught up in defending your opinions or trying to convert people to see things your way? Who is a person you admire for his or her farsightedness or capacity to see the big picture? What does omniscience mean to you? Find the opposite of a strong opinion of yours. Sincerely look for evidence to prove this contrasting viewpoint. Stay open to what you learn. That's it. Much love and happy contemplating.